Hey Dan. We're going to go into Mongolia next, so let's open up the briefing. And this is called Snatch and Grab, Personnel Acquisition. The notable Professor Valken is attending a conference in the research labs of a nearby city. He is believed to be the world's leading authority on cybernetics, and so would make an ideal ally for our research and design department. The research labs are in a separate complex in the southern sector of the city. Your squad will be deployed in a cooperative chemical plant to the north. Their mission is to persuade the professor to join us. Once he has been persuaded, a dropship will come to pick up the squad. Ensure that all the agents are within the pickup zone. Alright, so we'll keep our team the same as it was last time, but we're going to add in a Persuadatron onto agent number four. And then all of the agents can get... Let's see... Ooh, how about a, a second Uzi? I think that'd be good. And what else do we have? Ooh, we could... I think the flamer is a bit, uh, a bit much for this. You know, we don't want to uh, be firing too indiscriminately. But let's get ourselves into the mission. All right, so with the whole team selected, we'll get into the vehicle here. And just head on down the road. Now, I wouldn't mind getting a chance to uh, take out a few targets and park someplace out of the way. So we'll come over here to this side. Turn our API levels up and just get out of the vehicle. And just take care of those targets immediately. Try not to fire at the vehicle because we We'll probably need it to get back out. There we are, very good. We've got this one last agent up here. He's being a bit wary, but uh, there we go. Should fall without too much fuss. And we'll keep heading around. You can tell from the Oop, from the music that we've got yet another agent nearby. Let's quickly deal with him. Very good, and then weapons away. And we can tell from the uh, scanner and the map that the uh, target is somewhere right around here. Oop, we got some more agents moving in, so let's step back so that we have a clear view. Oh, it looks like He's on the other side of this uh, barrier, so when it was saying that we would need to get to the other section of the city, it meant that once again we're going to need to use one of these train tracks to uh, shift from one side to the other. Now, let's head back up this way. And what we're going to do is uh, a little loop around the outside of the city to clear away some of these enemy agents, because there are quite a few waiting for you in this level. So it can help to be a bit more methodical and clear them out of the way ahead of time, rather than trying to get the doctor first and then escort him out amidst all of the uh, gunfire. Now I've turned down all of the API levels to uh, try and give ourselves a nice buffer for when we do get into combat. Oh, and here we go, we've got another agent coming in. Let's move to a spot where we can have a closer, better look at things. Get rid of some of these police officers. This gives us a chance to pick up a few extra guns as well. Try to clear these away. And 
And how are our agents doing? They seem to be alright, but... Obviously finding themselves a bit swarmed here. I'm gonna try to move away. And use the med kits there. Very good. It's always good when you see yourself getting surrounded on the map like that. It's a good idea to move away, uh, get yourself clear, make sure that you've got a good line of sight to all of the enemies. Here we are. Come around, finish off the last few. One last one here. It can be very difficult to uh, hit people around obstacles and uh, bits of the architecture, so there we go. There we go, we can uh, eliminate some police officers as well. And uh, so you can see what happens with the med kit is all you need to do is select the agent in particular. And hang on, I'm just going to bring all of my API levels down for a moment. Uh, but all I had to do with the medkit was select the agent in particular and then just click on... Hang on. Trying to put our guns away. And apparently they don't want to. What about that? Alright, well, now that we've cleared out most of the opposition, I'm not sure why some of these agents just do not want to put their guns away. Possibly because I've got their API levels too high, possibly because they've got a different weapon selected. Alright, let's try that instead. So we'll try to get them all up here, which can be a bit challenging just with the layout of the uh, of the map, but there we go. We'll come up this ramp here. All of you together. And get to the top of the train station. On second thought, it may have been a good idea to come with the flamers, because uh, flamers can be very useful when you find yourself surrounded by enemy agents. The one issue that can happen with the flamers is that they have a very short range. All right, let's turn everything up. And looks like we've got one or two agents left here. Let's see if we can eliminate that one. Pick up a few extra weapons. Very good. Now it was Agent 4 that had the Persuadatron. There it is. We'll just send him into the building there. Very good. And now bringing all of our agents back out. And the little ramp up is sort of hidden in between these two buildings. But if we click on there... Oh, and we've got one more enemy there. So we'll try to get him taken care of. Very good. The doctor is still with us. We'll put our weapons away. Wait for the train.
and you can see the uh, doctor just sort of fumbles around your agent number four, who has the Persuadertron. He should be able to get into the train no problem. Very good. One of the worst things that can happen is getting to the end of a mission like this and having either one of your agents or the uh, civilian that you have persuaded suddenly gets run over by a train. All right, we'll come over this way. Head on down the ramp. And now all we need to do is get back to our vehicle. Hopefully he can follow no problem. Very good. And get out of the city. And we shouldn't have any other enemy agents waiting to ambush us. A mistake that's easy to make in this level is getting the doctor first and then not having a way to uh, defend him against the sudden swarm of enemy agents. I rather do like the design of this game. Oh, wait. Is he? Yeah. Yep. He's gotten a little confused about where to go. I want you to come down around the ramp and up the street. There we go. Uh, as I was saying, I do quite like the design of the game, but uh, it is there is a lot of sameness to it. You know, all the buildings are generically the same. All the streets look the same. Everyone who walks the streets looks the same. No matter where you are, everything is very much the same. All right. Now that we've got everybody in the car, we'll just head our way back to the beginning. Oop, hit a pedestrian or two along the way. Try not to. And then up and out. Very good. And make our way to the exit point. All right, and we have successfully uh, exfiltrated the now persuaded Dr. Valken. Now, let's see, we faced off. Yeah, there were 22 enemy agents in that level, which is uh, quite, quite a lot to be going up against. Uh, but again, our hit accuracy has remained high. Uh, oh, and we've got uh, version 2 of the legs unlocked, which is good. Alright, Dan, so that's uh, it for now. Next time we'll uh, head up north to uh, Kamchatka, uh, and then there's the Far East, and we'll swing back down and uh, see about some of these other missions. Alright, Dan, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you later.